All right, welcome back. This is Black Lodge Trivia Night, getting through Elden Ring, another bonus episode. If you remember in the last one, basically, we spent four hours fighting Consort Radon, but we, uh, we beat him. It wasn't pretty, it wasn't easy, but we did it. Um, and then... I had said that because I'm at the end, I've started um, sort of seeing big picture stuff that I missed. And two things that I missed were the area I'm currently in, the uh, Stone Coffin Fissure, and uh, this is uh, the, the Northeastern Dung of the DLC. So we're gonna see about getting into both of those today. Explore a little bit. Oop. So, in these cases, I don't know... I knew there was a, you know, to get here, there's a hole in the ground. So, I knew that I had missed the hole in the ground. I didn't know what was down here. So, that's sort of the same with the Northeastern Dong. I absolutely had to look up how to get there. It's another one of those, like, really almost tedious bits of over obfuscation that um, these games sometimes indulge in a little bit too much. Kindly Mikola, I see you've thrown away something you should not have under any circumstances. How will your salvation offer to those who cannot be saved when you could not even save your other self? Okay, so that's it. Uh, again, one of the reasons why I'm excited to almost be done with this is because, very nice, not that it's as important, carved words coalesce, I abandon here my love. I'm at 16 scatter tree fragments, that's I think what I had when I defeated Radon, a few short of the 20, but scouring the internet seems to make it sound like once you hit... 15, it's one of those like soft caps where anything after that is just incremental. And I think I had seven. Alright, I'm seeing some stuff that might be better served with my ranged holy attack on the Thunder Hammer. Uh, the armor. I don't like this armor. I'm sticking with the fingerprint stone shield just because it's a behemoth. The problem is, is that it's unbelievably heavy and what skill is it strength would that equip my like part of me is like now that I'm at this point in the game can I drop vigor down by 10 add it to strength you know can I do something like that or is it endurance like what what boosts your equipment load might be endurance um, but I'm not digging the fashion souls I don't know what fashion souls I'm looking for I'm a traditionalist you know if you've seen me get through most of the game in my um Harry and Knight. Uh, there was something to that. Look, it reminded me a little bit, I think I've said this, it reminded me a little bit of the old Demon Souls armor. Just polished up a little bit. Uh, let's see. Black Knife Assassins. I feel like they have pretty cool armor. Helm of Night. That's kind of Sauron looking. Carrion Knight Helm. I think I just, I if I put on the full set, it just goes too far in, on my weight load. But maybe there's some combination that... Raptor's Black Feathers. What does this one look like? That looks like an actual robe. 
I was hoping it was just more like a... I don't know what I was hoping. The braided corded robe. This is... What does this look like? Basically, I get tired of the weird face on the back of that guy's outfit looking at me. <laughs> that's that's what it is. All right, if I get this going. Hands of Reed. That's like the samurai armor, right? Armor of Knights. So what part of this puts me over? Um, hmm. I don't know what is what. Carry Knight Grease, so I put these on. I'm still on a medium load. I'm still doing okay. What are the land of reeds? Is that, the, yeah, again, is that the samurai? So wait, am I back to my fashion souls? As long as I never take off those two medallions. I'm gonna take, keep this one, and I'm gonna now switch this one back to the one that revives, restores HP, there we go. I keep saying like I'm still fast rolling. It might be technically called medium roll. There might be a difference. I don't know if it's... I really like the look of this area so far. I can't tell you what it means, obviously, but what I like about it, it's sort of... Maybe I'll do a Dark Souls 3 run at some point. I, I was letting... Matt was streaming that on Twitch, but maybe I'll... I'm sort of looking over there. But part of the DLC in Dark Souls 3 is a giant pain in the ass, but, but visually... It's this really interesting... design where the world is just fracturing apart. It's the end of time in my... I think if I have some of the lore correct. And, you know, reality is just going to pieces. And this sort of has a similar... Can I... And it's, a, and it's an aesthetic I've always liked. I just feel like it's really visually stunning, somber. Is this a different one? And so I feel like here, again, when you start getting towards the bottom of these souls' worlds, it's really fascinating. And maybe when I was in the madness area, I felt like I'd gotten as far down as you get. Clearly that wasn't the case. Something fired this guy off. He's on the move.
And if you remember these things from the base game, they were often around Everjails. Oop. Okay, I gotta keep moving. <laughs> see what's going on. So I can't tell if I've been up this side passage. These things explode when you get too close. Yeah, like I was saying, um, we're getting near the end of my uh, time with Elden Ring. I've played it twice. Once I did it on the PlayStation when it first came out, and then I, when it came out on PC, I grabbed it, and then I, you know, I did a, I think I mentioned this, you know, I had some, some friends over in the Alcoholic Adventure Cabal role-playing group talking about how you know, the Souls games, you just can't do it because they're too hard, et cetera, et cetera. They picked up Elden Ring, and I was like, yeah, you know, I, I love Elden Ring, but I got to warn you, like, if, if you've struggled with Souls games, you're not going to suddenly find the magic with this one. But at the same time, I feel like, again, I've said this many times, like, if I can do it, any video game player can do it. So, um... So I, I started off doing a series of like, hey, you know, here's what happens if you don't follow the path the Sight of Grace lights are trying to give you and you just go to the Southern Peninsula. You know, just sort of like over explaining it. And then um, I just kept going because I love the game. But I don't know. So don't go off the edge. Uh... I don't know if it's something I can just jump back in and replay. 
immediately. It's such a long game. And so much of it is the exploration, which I don't, I don't know, people... Let's try some fire. There's a little bit more, but it's still going to be some work. Somehow this loops back around, I think. I have a ring of light spell that was I used a little bit in the um, Radon fight, the consort Radon fight, but um, it was okay. It's sort of like a weaker thing of what I got going on with my whoop, my hammer, except it shoots multiple out, so maybe it makes it stronger in that sense. There's a reason why the giant slug had a hole in that cave, and is that because the path goes around once you beat that thing? curious what's over there. Oh well. Although I should say, like, my time with Elden Ring is coming to an end in terms of, and everybody's probably like, thank God, of the recording it. But maybe, you know, because maybe I'll just sit here one day with, like, a Google tab open and say, like, okay, medallions, what did I miss? Let's go that way, like, I can go through and just get everything. I don't know if I should read into this, but the thing I kind of like about this is it implies that, you know, these give off heat. I mean, this is different, but, um... What do we got going on here? Ah, fire jumping ahead. Try holy and then let there be victory. Well, holy is something I can I can definitely do. I 
I appreciate that holy is um, so powerful. Because I feel like in a lot of Souls games, I don't know if it gets the short shrift per se. Like, I know it was pretty good in Elden Ring until you got to the end. Oh, please grant me the courage to fly to your feet, my dearest. Saint Trina. Oh. Saint Trina, the one thing I know about Saint Trina is involves sleep. Useful in the incredibly annoying Godskin duo fight. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Uh, okay, we don't need stuff like this anymore, so let's go back to Ask kicking mode. Let's just see what this does. And on the off chance we can get a tear off. Try jumping. Read message. Ah, uh, seems familiar. Oh, seems familiar. Ah, uh, dragon. Could this be a dragon? Sort of got the Radon thing going on where, like... Oop. Get back and heal. Am I slow fat rolling? I am. Shit. Oh, because it's a different sword. Remembrance of putrescence. Is it endurance that gets my quip load up? It does. What about strength? No. Endurance. Let's get that back up to 40. And then maybe I can wield this sword and fashion souls and what if I can I swap out the pants for something lighter? Has to be a lot lighter. Um, what else can I drop? The helmet, maybe? Gauntlets? Stuff that doesn't really matter. Let's try the helmet. I think it's got to be the... It's got to be this. Okay, well...
Yeah, I don't know. What is Zaz? Um, they're not bad. They're good against Slash. Black knife armor light enough to get me down below the limit? Or do I just, you know what, like, this thing's amazing, but am I doing okay? And I, well, I don't know. Do I just go back to the, um, do I just go back to the shield? I'm already in pretty light boots, so I doubt that's going to be the thing. Ah, eh, you know what? Let's go back to the Thunder Hammer and let's just fashion souls this bad boy. Finish this game out in style. Did I? Yeah, I did. Okay, I was about to say, did I rest at that thing and I had to to level up? Maybe what I do is I, uh, nah, whatever. I was going to say, I probably have a charm that would boost my endurance, but. Wraith ahead? St. Trina's Blossom, okay. St. Trina's Disciple Cookbook. How do people die here? So two things are happening. One, it's giving me my hit points like there's something I can attack. And two, it's got that symbol over on the left, that little gold circle, which I think tells you you can't attack. So I guess first and foremost, what is the St. Trina's Blossom? I guess what I should be doing is I should be looking, what's the cookbook? Probably like tons of tears, I probably did. I probably should have added that to, well, no, maybe I was using that for Don. Oh, I guess I could put this on and then I can, s oh. This raises all attributes though. I might need that. I was going to say this, I get, and then I could save myself a, um, a slot. So it's sort of like a combo of Gravelord Nido meets the main Radon fight. All 
All right. Giant's Prayer Book. Book. Okay. There's probably a bunch of stuff I could be doing here, especially even as a holy. map. I don't know what this is. I really do wish. There was a way to zoom in on maps and to organize your stuff. Um, okay. Well, I guess we have the... Sight of Grace, we can always come back here, which is, like, this is what I'm curious about. Like, there's a Sight of Grace here, right near this cave. Um, does it mean, first off, well done. And I can't tell if that's because we're meant to come back here. Is this St. Trina herself? Oh, no, 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 they're on the ground. Can I wake her? one of those things where it needs to be nighttime, or I, I don't know, sometimes the world changes that way. Oh, it's late at night already. Okay. Let's do until noon. Let's just pass some time. Maybe... She's like my teenage kids, and, uh... That might be something I have to look up. Um, okay, so now for the Northeastern Dong. This is something, I don't know if I'm going to, this is something I never would have figured out on my own. Like I was saying, more of this obfuscation, which is a little much at times. Maybe it's just because I'm not paying attention, but here's a developer message that says, have mercy for the spirit away shamans. Now when I look this up, the spirited away shamans. <laughs> um, I don't know if I have the right. Uh, I don't know if I have the right gesture. There's a gesture in the Bonnie Village where it was the first time I sort of explored and realized, oh crap, you can. It's like a puzzle for how to get through stuff. There's a gesture there for something to do with mother, which I don't know if I grabbed. And if I didn't grab it, then... Uh, let me see. See, the big secret lies just to the east of the black side of grace, a small chapel room here. I guess I'm literally, I had to look it up. It's the O oh, mother. Here we go. If you use this here, it takes you to the hinterlands. Again, why? I have no idea. I think that's why it feels arbitrary, because lore wise, it's just like, you know, what's the point? And again, that's why I'm glad to be almost done. So maybe Bonfire Side Chat can explain that part of it to me. 
But yeah, so it's it's trying to give you a hint, but it's so slight, esoteric, just this thread of information that in a game this size, I guess you could argue you don't have to jot down much, I guess, but Oh. I would say that might be like the first like uh knight like that we've encountered. Oh, you know what? It's telling me I can summon so let's do it. Oh, because there's two of them. <laughs> I'm gonna go off horse just because I wanna be able to use my shield. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Blessing America. Okay, I don't know what that does, but now can I get the second one going? Oh, I still have my mimics here. So I got the range. It does. if there's any... I haven't figured out what happens when I stance break. Am I just... Second Blessing America. Now, is this another hole in the ground where you can actually go down and I miss it? Does not seem... No, doesn't seem to be the case. Okay. Is this where I came from? No. Uh, well, maybe. Uh, no. Wrath. Gesturing required ahead. Or, no, 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 is this, is this where I came from? Yes, okay. Apologies. Uh, okay, so let's go back. Try some of the paths that are being blocked by the uh, tree sentinels. No, 
<laughs> this guy never forgets. All right. Trying out a switching out a different microphone, play around with it a little bit. It's a, I used to have an Austrian audio OC18, and I really loved it, but it was very expensive, and I didn't always use it, and I felt guilty for not always using it because it was so expensive. Shaman Village, and so I was actually able to sell it, and I got its younger brother, the OC16, which runs you the same as an SM7B. Um, but I really liked aspects of the OC-18. It was a bit cumbersome to use, but I've changed out some other things that make it a little easier. But it does not come with a windscreen, minor Erdtree, the way the OC-18 does. And I was listening to yesterday's... Uh, when I record it, like again, these bonus ones. Um, and it definitely needs something, so I'm trying to track down. Right now, I'm using like a generic run of the mill nylon pop filter. Uh, but those. The reason. What makes the OC18 cumbersome is that it, it's a side address microphone. The SM7B takes up less visual real estate in front of me when I'm doing the gaming stuff. But I always really loved the sound of the Austrian audio stuff. And, you know, reviews and my own listening were like, yeah, you know, the 16 is not that different than the 18. It's half the price. But, man, I am missing the windscreen. Not for half the price, but... And so, you know, you can order the windscreen separately. I hope that the mics 16 and 18 are similar enough in size that it'll work. But uh, nobody has them available in stock, so I have to wait for that to come in. Um, but we'll see how it goes. The If you listen to my old stuff, the SM7B was always like the the mic I could never dial in. Because I didn't know what I was doing. And I think I've recently... I thought I had it dialed in. And then... I didn't understand... That when you update the BIOS... At least this was my experience. I updated the BIOS on my Rodecaster Pro 2. And it... Um, it deleted all my settings, my presets. And then I realized, oh. Because I was like, how the... F how the fuck do you save your presets? And um, what you have to do is you have to save them as sessions. You save sessions, which is, I guess, makes sense. You know, it's just like, this is my preset for four-person podcast. This is for solo when I'm using this mic. You know, I guess it makes sense. But um, just didn't occur to me that was the language that I was using. Is there anything here? The Shaman Village shows up as, like, an icon of... Didn't expect God. Golden Braid. Golden Braid, okay. sure there's a lore thing going on there that I'll eventually learn about. That's the thing. I mean, this game has the opportunity for so much interesting lore. It's just so massive of a game that Uh, 
Uh, but to what I was saying, you know, like, but I, I feel like my time with Elden Ring as a whole, because if I want this, you know, gameplay loop, I'd probably just go speedrun Dark Souls or Demon Souls, right? Um, the exploration is what makes it magic. And I mean, granted, I'll forget half of this the moment I'm done because I, I'm old. But anyway, uh, so yeah, so I'm trying to get a windscreen. Oh, are these guys back? How, wait, how are they back? Did I rest? Or is this the third one? If I rest it, I should be able to send my tear. But I can't, which makes me think maybe... Alright, let's see how I do solo. Well, Oop. Okay, this one's not giving me a... Boss bar. I should have just tanked that. One left. The SM7B, I think I've dialed in again. The OC18 ones. When I get the Austrian audio mics dialed in a certain way, they feel the most like what my voice sounds like in real life. The SM7B smooths out what my voice sounds like in real life, so when you hear it for an hour or two... And so I'm just trying to... If I can... Get a little bit... I, I was hoping Earthworks Ethos would do... Oh, shit. Uh, would do it, and it didn't. Um, get that mix of smooth it out a little bit, but keep it natural. Okay, I wonder if they all come back. And I'm so, I'm just kind of, and the 18, you know, and then like I said, the 16 and the 18, for what I do with it, are not that, are, not, are basically the same, right? Spoken word. Not all out, best quality in the world, vocal booth. Oop, there we go. Um, so I'm just trying to see, because I was listening to the last one, I was like, yeah, no, that sounds a lot more realistic, but I just want to smooth it out a little bit. So I'm sort of testing that here today.
I wonder why... Where are we? Although I was talking about how like the exploration is the thing. Do people play... I feel like people make multiple runs of Skyrim. Although I'm not maybe quite sure why. Just keep playing the, you know. This is getting embarrassing. Just somebody get hit. There we go. quick obvious things that I noted from trying this out yesterday. Definitely. <laughs> and these none of these should be a surprise. Handling noise on the 16, I was like, oh. I just gotten, you know, I've been using the SM7B a lot since I finally dialed it in. And so that's the thing, I, I dialed it in and, um, I got back to the place where I was like, oh, let's, let, this will be fun. Let's try some other things real. But I need to not have like a million things that I want to try. I need to like keep it just to a couple. Some, you know, some of these guys online, they'll talk about like their mic locker. Oops. I do not need a mic locker. But I do have a couple. Why is it always fingers? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, I you can see that on the map.
So we're looking at this. So there's this one. And there's also the one that was blocking the way. I guess this is the main Erd tree for this world. Anyway. More random nonsense. Because again, as I've said a couple of times, like part of doing this is to learn. Not that it matters if I learn it, but I'm curious to uh, likely beast. I'm curious to learn it, so... Like, I was thinking of, um... We did a Bookhouse Boys where I was trying to... Change up how we recorded it a little bit. And, uh... You know, we need another... We need another session up. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll do a second Bookhouse Boys. Okay, these are the fingers, like, we saw... Down here. I guess that makes sense. They're similar. Yeah. You can see the... It looks similar... Oh, shit. Looks like something's happening there. So let's just get him going. Falling Star is great. These things are a pain in the butt. I don't know if it's better to fight this thing on horseback or... I know gravity magic. break their stance. I'm getting my ass kicked. Why am I not... gravitational missile. I assume that's more gravity sorcery. Let's, uh, let's go down. Ugh. So what do I do? Do I... I think I go back to the instant wind sword with fire because I think that can wreck these things. Now I looked up there was one boss I looked up that 
had to deal with fingers, so maybe I should have went back to where that is before I came here. So I don't know how much exploration is worth doing. Like, do I just follow the path? Do I... Okay, this is uh, going to be a thing that duplicates. I feel like these are things I should be marking. I can duplicate um, the remembrances you get from... off. Oh, I am. So I'd be curious, for the things that skeeve the shit out of you, what wins? The flying scorpion spiders with a lot of hair that are the size of a house? Or the 14-fingered severed dead hands. Oh, am I on my horse? That's the problem. Is this guy down? No. Oh, that's fingernails. More fingernails. You know, as much as I've been bitching about the spider scorpion shit, I think... Still got to go to the hands. When I see those fingernails cropping out of the ground, like, I just instantly get chills. Just... My... My blood turns to ice, so... That does not look like magic. Uh, poison, I mean. I wonder what... Ugh. I wonder what kind of damage that is. So, yeah, like, is there something over... There's enemies down there, so there's clearly something to it. Is it you go down and then around? Anyway, I used to be like, I just need to find like my forever mic or whatever. And I'm realizing I'm, I'm just, I'm not that guy. I am curious about these things and how they work and how this and that and the other things. So then I... But I do need to limit finger runes of Deo. Uh, the uh, amount of experimentation I can do.
And I do have some regret over selling the OC-18. But again, it was just so expensive that when I wasn't using... Oh, shit. When I wasn't using it... Oh, it felt like a total waste. At half the price, I feel like... Oh, come on. I won't feel so guilty. Like, I think I'm going to sell my Earthworks ethos to compensate for this. That's sort of the trade I'm doing. It's not one for one, but... I feel like I'd rather have the SM7B... The SM7B and the Ethos felt like they covered a lot of the same ground, at least for my use and how I was um, tuning them, etc., etc. And if I'm going to keep a few, I need them to be different. So the ones I've got, OC16, that smooth condenser. Um, the SM7B will probably be the one I use the most because it's just functionally easiest in the space that I tend to talk in and I've, like I said, I feel like I finally got it somewhat dialed in. Um, and then I have a, uh, Rode PodMic USB. And I keep that as my main USB mic. Should I need something of that ilk? That's not true. I also have, um, now I also have the, uh, the wireless, the Rode wireless, because... For the other channel. And for when I need my hands in the space in front of me free. Oh, fuck you. Is this going to... Where did this guy come from? Just so I can get angry at him. Oh. Oh, wait. He just teleports in? first go with the road wireless um oh come on get bent actually I fucking a actually lock on to him so I can kill him Can I just go buy these guys? I don't want to deal with these. Okay, so what I'm going to do really quickly is, like I said, I looked up something that had to do with, like, the finger boss that I missed, and it's back in this church. I'm starting to feel like, let me go to this church, because maybe there's something here they're all connected. So let me do this first. Maybe it takes care of something that I needed to do.
<laughs> the exalted timbre of the bell has reached these ears of mine. Oh, you can see he's holding a finger like a baby. Starry sky is wondrous tonight indeed. Only your fate shines brighter. Now, these are for you. Ruins map second. So what I didn't remember... Oh, beloved Stardust. I don't know what that is. What I didn't remember is that he gave me a map to the first finger thing, and I... I think nothing of it. I have made my decision to be of help. May the gleaming stars guide you evermore. I fear that you... I feel like... Is then the I've already done this, so... Or oh, maybe not. No Whatever. Uh, I'm not going to study sorcery. Checking. So again, this is the thing. It's like, yeah, sure. Like, where the hell does all this crap go? Um, Southern Shore, Abyss, Deep Root. These are the old. But it's not really a map. It's more like a journal entry. So it just gets frustrating, like, they need to, I don't know if this is the right way to go, but I wish there was like a, hey, like, you just got it, you want to take a look? Like, just that kind of ease of use. Uh, let's see, ruins map, second ruins map, let's see what the first one was. A simple old map, faded and dirty, acquired, acquired from Count Ymir, High Priest. So you can see, it's also, it's barely useless, useful. So that's the first one, showing you to go to the one down in the... Part we've been to. This is showing you to go to the northeastern Dong. And now I don't know if this is gonna work. How did you, did Count Ymir reward you with that? Hmm. Then I see you have gained his trust, and therefore mine. I am Yolan. The knight is yours now to wield. Don't get the wrong idea. We are neither friends nor confidants. I am merely honoring Count Emir's wishes. Enough of you. Enough of you. Okay. Uh, I think you can... Let me see if this will work. Pass time until night. Maybe this will work. So yeah, at certain times of the day, once you start talking to this guy, he gets off his throne and goes outside. When he goes outside... You can do this. Again. I don't know why I would have thought of this. get him to get off his throne. But, you know what? So be it. So now I'm wondering finger finger runes of mirror. Um So I'm below. Okay, so I'm just below. I was wondering if like, oh, I'm on top of something, maybe but no, we're too far away. Because remember, there's like places here I felt like I should have been able to climb around. Invaded by... Oh, okay. I wonder how tough she is. Laws of night, all right.
know if that's the right quality of life thing. Like, hey, you just got this. Do you want to peek at it before we bury it in your inventory? I don't know if the answer is smoother inventory management. Uh, but I definitely lose track. I don't want, like, the Skyrim, like, pointer taking you exactly where you want to go, obviously, because that's not these games at all. Uh... Okay, so I think... I think this is one of the things I... Can I not blow this? I thought if you just got the guy off his throne and you came down here, you could blow the horn. And if you blew the horn, I thought it took you to... this boss that I missed. Um, hmm, so maybe I missed something. Oh well. At least we have the second map so that we can... The second item at least. Yeah, the second map. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can get down this hill without having to deal with all this garbage. Um, so I think the quest involves blowing a couple horns. Um, I guess I didn't realize. I thought that I thought that was the second horn, and then you fought the boss, and that was the end. Let's get into this finger area because there was a horn in the first finger area. Fuck you. Yeah, get the fuck away from me. Come on. Oh my god, get... Fuck you, seriously. Oh my god. Okay. Let's see what that does. Sure. Okay, so what do I do? I've got like 200,000 souls sitting up there. How far away? Do I go for it? Oh, what's the worst that can happen? If I get it, I get it. If I lose it, I lose it. Nope. Shit. Fungul. Of the north. Okay. Ah, 
<sighs> oh, fuck you. Okay, well, they're gone. At least now I don't have to worry about them. It's probably a little evident my, my patience for some of this is less because... I've beaten the game. Um, and so I'm just like, this is just bonus. I don't have to be here doing this. Oh, okay. Finger runes of... Oh, so I see. They put something on the map there. Okay, so let's go back here. Doesn't have his baby hand. Hello there. I heard another sound colored by your essence. <laughs> Simply exhilarating, I must say. The stars are dark tonight. But rest assured, this is no ill omen. On the contrary, I believe that this portends a magnificent starry cascade. Now, take this. My final gift to you. May you join the glimmering stars above. Ruins map third. I guess it's kind of showing you. Right? Is that sort of showing you like it's the picture of the cathedral? Right, it's kind of showing you the church, and it's just below the church. So I guess that's maybe... Now we're ready for the third one. Still there? Shit. Okay, how do I get him off? But um, psh, off the throne. Oh yes, I believe I can feel it brewing. This evening is a sign of a greater night to come. May you join the glimpse. Okay, so I'm not sure how else to get him off the throne. Hmm. Maybe you gotta wait till morning? Maybe in the morning he goes this time? As you can see, what I should probably do is, like, it, it's sort of a mix. Like, I should either lean into it and just look it up. What I try and do, though, is I try and just get, like, the faintest whiff of a tease to point you where you have to go. So, like, with the oh, mother gesture, like, I was never going to figure that out. Ever. So I had to, like, okay, keep going, keep going, okay. This I feel like... Oh, yes. This evening... Okay, this evening, so... So I, I get like, okay, it's this guy and it's under his thing and it involves horns. I'm like, okay, so I get take those bits of information information, and I stop. But then what I end up doing is I end up just tripping over myself anyway because I don't know what the next step is. Maybe there's more to this person. I told you once, I have no interest in companionship. But I must admit, Count Emir did seem very pleased. Perhaps an exception is in order. Oh, indeed. Okay, let's talk Ymir more. Emir is a shining star in our eyes. The only star upon the black canvas of the night. 
Our meeting with the Count taught us of the star-draped sky. We know that we cannot reach out to touch it, but we can peer up at its brilliance and heed its guidance. We will never again lose our way in the night. I have spoken far too freely. Pay me no mind. Let us focus on our shared purpose, our service to Count Emir. Now, be on your way. Hmm. Stop. What did you just say? <sighs> Wait, no. Say nothing. I have one star alone, and only his words will do. I will say this much. I am in your debt, but I will hear no more. I have one star alone, and only his words will do. All right, so it sounds like there's a little bit of Be on your way. palace intrigue going on. About this. I do appreciate that there's something to be said if you do things out of order. Tragedy that he would feel compelled in the plane. Do you recall what I said that Marika and the fingers that guided her were unsound from the well? It is their mother who is damaged and unhinged. The fingers are but unripe children. No, oh, interesting. So they're giving you some lore about the fingers. Right. We all need a mother, do we not? A new mother, a true mother. Who will not give birth to further malady. Is there anything else? Just the sort of, yeah. Okay. May you join the Alright, I just uh want you to leave, or I might have to just do a quick pause and Google what's uh what's uh, step three. But now I've talked to everybody, so maybe Okay, here we go. I might have put, well, I was going to say, I might have put a side of grace under there, but there may be a reason why they're looking to gatekeep it. Except that they're gatekeeping it by not being able to blow the horn. Didn't expect weak foe. Maybe that's about the invasion. You know, the fingers obviously creep me out and stuff, but again, like this sort of cosmic y horror vibe that I'm getting. I, I just don't know if I'm ever going to get anything like this in another game. This kind of open world mixed with this kind of cosmic horror mixed with this kind of fantasy mixed with this kind of gameplay. Ugh. Okay, so now I can... You know what? I don't need these. Let's vastly reduce physical damage just in case. I don't know what I don't know what this is gonna be. Let's get they're giving me the chance to bring Mimic in, I'm gonna take it. Uh they're gonna give me the nobody's doing anything, so let me I can maybe buff both of us up.
Does this work for both of us? Can't tell. Okay. I'm gonna heal up. Uh, Mara. Okay. This makes sense, Mother of Fingers. Not liking... <laughs> I'm not liking the look of this. I've seen a lot of fingers. Yeah. It's like the worst of all worlds. It's like the gaping dragon, but if it was just all goddamn fingers <laughs> launching magic fingers at you. Ooh. It's like, oh, maybe I'll actually do a jump dodge for once. I did not. <laughs> Guess you can't tank that. <laughs> I don't know if I can roll out of the way of that. This is just getting in between. Did I just tank it? I thought I couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> Time that completely wrong. Almost got around that. Finish it. There we go. Remembers of the Mother of Fingers. All right. 420,000. Nice.
So, okay, so based on, like, Ymir was talking about how, like, the mother is, is the problem. So maybe he was trying to do all that. What it, whatever the process was, maybe we needed to do that in order to be able to access her and kill her because he felt like she was ill or some kind of something going on. Uh, 12, probably need way more than that. So let's see now if we can figure out... Uh, whoops, I don't need to... Let's see what he has to say about these developments. Okay, now nobody's here. What have you done? You've here most irreparably, Wait. such that he wishes for you. What? And I must attend to the council. I did what he told me to do. Finish it, get greedy. <laughs> oh, interesting. Ymir's bell bearing, okay. Maternal staff. The maternal staff. Let's take a look at that. Boost finger sore. Ugh. <laughs> just that phrase is disgusting. All right, so now what happens? So it looked like he was trying to get you to kill the mother so that he could become the mother. I don't know why he needed to kill you to do it. I don't think I need to go back. Do I need to go back? See if there's anything there, the finger birthing grounds, if it um, changes anything now that. Huh. Again, a little bit of an Ashen Lake vibe because, you know, it's the base of the world where the we're not literally at the base of the world, but, you know, just the thing underneath it that everything above draws life from. So, now, having done that, there's clearly multiple multiple scattered tree fragments I have not encountered. Um, but I feel like those were the bosses that I knew I missed. Whatever that maiden was underneath the church um and then i whatever this ended up being down here i don't know if there's others that i missed i don't know if there's things certain parts of the world like have i been down here um
I just don't know. But I think without... Without just pulling up like a, a Google walkthrough, I think this is going to be the end of my run. Um, I think this is going to be where we wrap up. And I got to say, you know, I, I think I said this, you know, the, the regular game playthroughs on Trainwreck games, because again, this was not available. This was not up and running when I started playing the, uh, the stream of uh, the base game. But this continues to be one of the best games I've ever played for my personal taste. This continues to be maybe my all-time favorite game. There were things about the DLC that I didn't love. I, I, and I've gone over them. I didn't love the collectathon for scatter tree fragments. I don't think you need to make them that numerous. Then it turns into like in Zelda, you know, you're collecting or Mario games where you have to collect, you know, whatever it is, you know, to get to four, uh, brr, is it 40 to get to level 20? Like you're getting three per level for a while, you know, so maybe it's 40 in total or 50 in total. I just, I don't know if that's interesting enough for me to engage with to and at the same time you kind of have to or you're screwed so i i think i said i wish that they made the 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 bosses you have to fight i wish they gave you each the piece you need and then it just wouldn't matter out in the world that it was only the bosses that were impacted by it um i didn't love that you had to do really obscure stuff to get to certain areas of the world like the oh mother gesture over here and they're both here actually and then like the secret the secret passage hidden behind a behind a wall like I, I didn't love those two things now having said that though and it's only because like I, I don't want to you don't need to gatekeep this kind of stuff like that you know, just, um, you know, just let me get over here. And then, you know, the gatekeeping, there's enough gatekeeping in the obscure NPC quest lines and difficulty, uh, things like that. You know, you don't need to make it like really dig into the weeds minutia in order to progress through this huge area. At the same time, there wasn't really much point to it, I guess. I also looked at, you know, these, like when I was talking about like the insta-kill stealth sequences here, you can beat those guys. The trick is somehow you've got to bait them into a certain kind of attack in which then you can parry. And then once you parry it, you can beat the crap out of them. So, um, I forget where I saw that, but after I did that area, I was like, what the, what was the point of that? Uh, and that was it. Otherwise there's actually not much down here. I, I don't think I missed a ton. It's just collecting some items and then moving on. Um, yeah, I, I, but having said those things, I feel like I gave this area the short shrift. I don't know if I, I don't know what that is. I don't know if I really explored here because I got sick of it, but, but that's the thing. Um, so someday, you know, I'm going to come back and I'm going to just go through walkthroughs and just, you know, like collect every spell, collect every weapon, just that kind of completionist stuff that I, I can't do on my own. But despite those complaints, I will say like this as a whole is just one of the all time unbelievable achievements in video games. I don't know. I don't know how anything like this ever comes again. And for that, I'm grateful that I got to play it. I'm grateful that it was good, you know, because just because they make it doesn't mean it has to be worth playing. And um, I feel like they knocked it out of the park, all things considered. It's just a... Um, Masterclass in world design, exploration, mechanics in terms of the fighting, things like that. Lore. Uh, just there's so much going on here and it's all done to such a high level that it kind of... 
kind of, I, I, you know, I don't even know what to do with like a game like Skyrim because I've, I've never beaten Skyrim. And so I'm like, oh, I should go back to it. But at the same time, like, I just... I just, yeah, I just, you know, it just... My fear is that, like, this game has ruined other open-world exploration games for me. My bigger fear is that it's ruined other Souls games. Like, I can't go back and play Bloodborne because there's mechanical things I don't like in it. Namely, the blood vials. Dark Souls 3 used to be the one I would just go back to and plow through because it had, like... You know, I know this might be heretical, but it has, like, slightly smoother gameplay moment to moment than, um... Souls 1. I never really cared for Souls 2. Definitely Souls 1 is more smooth for me than Souls 2. Souls 2 is just a clunky mess on a lot of levels in my mind. Uh, but my fear is that you know, what do I do if I want this type of gameplay? Like, will another game like this ever get made? Like, the short answer is yes, but will it be Miyazaki and will it be you know, now that I've seen what it can be you know, can I... Am I just sort of accepting it if if it's less? Uh, and my fear is that I would just be like, yeah, yeah, this is good. It's more, it's more of the Souls kind of gameplay that I like, but it's... Uh, I guess the short answer is, was this Miyazaki's magnum opus? Um... You know, was this his masterpiece? You know, was this was this what it all culminated to in some way? And if so, I'm grateful, you know, because this has been absolutely amazing. But um, who knows? I look forward to whatever comes next, though. I hope I hope this hasn't made him say like, yeah, you know, I've sort of sort of put a cap on that style of game and now I'm ready to explore other things. I hope he still is intrigued by the kinds of stories he can tell with this medium, using these mechanics to keep it going. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Neither here nor there. Uh, yeah, so I gotta start figuring out, I don't have to start figuring out anything. I wanna start figuring out what comes next. Um, because, again, when I do these things, I try and couch them, when I'm not just rambling about audio bullshit, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to put it into context of RPGs. You know, when I did my Darkland stuff, you know, I talked about, you know, how it how it's the game that inspired me to search for role-playing settings as an adult and stuff like that. So I hope some of that was in this game as well. But um, this has been Black Lodge Trivia Night, playing Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree. And uh, this is going to be it, I think. So I appreciate everyone who checked any of these out, who checked out the shorts, who left comments. I... If you enjoy this kind of stuff, I hope you like and subscribe. There will be more CRPGs. This isn't meant to be a Souls channel. The main thing is that we are a tabletop RPG podcast and actual play channel. So there's going to be plenty of those coming. We usually try and get something out every Friday. It's not 100% consistent because life gets in the way. But if you want audio versions of that kind of thing, just search for Black Lives Trivia Night wherever you get your podcasts, and we should show up. And, uh, yeah. Otherwise, you know, like, subscribe, or just in general, we appreciate all those who have checked this out. Thanks again, and uh, take care. One last time from, uh, from the lands of Elden Ring. <laughs>